deal with believe that you owe her something. You know? The women you deal with, and don't tell me she don't. Once a woman starts dealing with a man, she she believes you owe her something. And and there you go. You you proving to her that you do owe her something. You know what I mean? You you proving to her. You proving to the chick that that um that you owe her something. Why do y'all let chicks bring that game on you? You don't owe her shit. But a woman would get you in a mindset that you owe her something. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all let chicks get y'all so rattled up that you feel like you owe the chick something? Because you know deep down inside what you actually want from the bitch and you feel like you owe her for that. So you already compensate for the shit that you want that you ain't even get. Come on now. When a woman feels like you owe her something, it's because in her mind, she already knows what you want. So what you do is you give her because you think, even though y'all ain't talking about it, she already know what you want and you know what you want and you hit the nail on the head by giving her what the fuck she wants. Do you get that? A lot of y'all do that. So when she say, you know, a real woman understands it's a give and take with men. I like him. I, I want to get to know him more. Okay, he paid for the movies. I paid for the food. He paid for the movies. I paid for the food. Okay, he bought a dinner. I'll cook it. He wants me to come over. We chilling. You know, he can come to my house. We watch Netflix. If he bring the grocery, I'll cook it. And we just relax and chill. We relax and chill. A woman, a woman understands that a real woman understands it's a give and take with a man that we like. But with you, you deal with a lot of women. She feel like you owe her. You owe her. Because in your mind, you already know what you want from her. So she make you feel guilty. And there you go, giving her what she wants. That's game. A real woman that wants to deal with you, she understands the give and take. It's a give and take. So just like you meet a bitch, y'all want to go out to eat. She may pay for the drinks. You pay for the food. Or, you know what I mean? Y'all go grab coffee. Y'all go go walk around the park. Y'all doing something like that. It's a give and take with a balanced woman. Because we don't want you to think that we're, we we want things from you. Like a real balanced woman, we don't want you to think that, oh my God, I'm using this nigga for $10 for coffee. I'm using this nigga for this food, this dinner date. We don't give a fuck about that. A real woman, we don't give a fuck about that. Because we can easily stay our ass home. Do you get that? So we get us a give and take, especially if we like you. So if we're leaving our house, dressing up, and we, we like you, we don't see nothing wrong with getting the drinks. It's not a problem. It's nothing. I mean, we understand it's chemistry there. I might want to fuck you. You might want to fuck me. But it's, it's not a big of a deal. Like, the reason why a lot of you niggas make going out on dates a problem, because y'all actually uh, finessing bitches that don't like you. So y'all be like, oh my god, I ain't buying no bitch no food. I ain't buying no drink for a bitch. Nigga, because you want the bitch and she don't want you, so you know you gotta pay for the drink. Stop playing with me. You know the bitch don't like you. But you paying for the dinner day anyway. You begging the bitch to go out with you. That's why a lot of you men talking about, oh my god, I can't I can't pay no money over thirty dollars. I'm not buying no meal that's over thirty dollars. Nigga, cause you already know the bitch don't like your ass. So you paying for the goddamn food anyways, because you know she don't like you. That's just facts. With a balanced woman, we don't even want to go out. It's, 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 it's like, we, we don't care about that type of shit. You know what I mean? We got other things to do. Going out, drinking, partying, whatever. If we do, we can pay for our own fucking food. Cause we don't want you to think that we gotta open up our legs for you just because we went out on a drink. That's a balanced woman. That's a woman that don't give a fuck about paying for a drink for ten dollars. It's a drink. I pay for my own drink. I pay for my own meal. What is it? Thirty dollars? I just want to have the conversation with you. It's not that big of a deal. But the reason why y'all be like, oh my, I can't. I'm not. Guys, don't pay for no meal over twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying that shit? Cause I'm breaking down. You begging the bitch to go out with you, hoping to fuck. So you don't want to pay over $30 just in case she you eat up and don't want to fuck you. Come on now, fam. You're not dealing with bitches that see you in the same light as you see her. It's no attraction there. So you overcompensating for a bitch that don't like you. And you know that. 
So you taking a bitch out that don't like you, just pay the goddamn thirty dollars, nigga, and, and hope wish upon a star that she will fuck you. Just wish upon a star. Push upon the stop. You can't make a bitch that don't like you pay. She didn't ask to go out with you. She don't really like you. So why the fuck would I pay for food and I don't fucking like you? You asked me to come out with you, nigga, hoping to fuck. Why Why would I pay? I don't fucking like you. You asked me 10 times to go out. You text me 100 times. I never replied but one time. And then now we going out. You talking about, I'm not paying for this. I'm not paying $30 for you to eat. Cause you might not fuck. Yeah, nigga, I might not fuck because you asked me to go out. The fuck? You text me a hundred fucking times. And see, them niggas don't be saying that shit when they do them goddamn live streams. They they don't say that. They don't say that they hit the bitch up a hundred times in a DM. They don't say they text the bitch a hundred times. They don't say they was thirsty as fuck. They don't say none of that shit. All they say is, don't spend no money on a woman. Nigga, why you not telling the truth? Be honest, you begging the bitch to go out hoping the chance to fuck. So why would I pay for food? I don't really like you like that. You beg me, you send me all these messages and say I don't have to pay for nothing. Then when I go out, you jump online. I paid a hundred dollars for this bitch. Guys, don't ever do it again. Nigga, are you telling the fucking whole truth? Let's be honest here. You ain't keeping it a hundred. Cause cause you ain't gonna you ain't gonna go online and say I went out with a chick and she paid for her own movie theater and we had a good time. I paid for the popcorn and the drinks. She paid for the, the theater and we we had a good time. You ain't gonna say that shit. Y'all asking bitches out that don't fucking like you. Cause if a bitch like you, she'll be like, well, when can we chill? That's when a bitch like you. When can we chill? What's your name? Where you from? You know what you like to do. Do y'all do understand the interactions between people that like each other, right? You do understand that. No, that don't break that shit down. They telling you, you know, don't pay for a bitch. They ain't really breaking shit down for you. You got to know when a person can like you. When a person wants to see you. Oh, how was your day? When can we see each other? Oh, I like to do this. I like to do that. I like to do this. I like to do that. That's just pure fucking common sense. With well, a person that likes you, she wants to get gets to know you. And then when you when you dealing with a bitch, a lot of niggas don't have a problem with paying for food with a bitch that like them. But see the problem, this is where the problem come in. A lot of you niggas been getting finessed by bitches that don't like you. Now you tired of paying for fucking dinner dates. Cause let's be honest here, thirty, forty, fifty dollars ain't shit to a man that's working. He don't give a fuck about that shit, especially when it's a chick he like. He don't give a fuck about. Fifty dollars, but the re the problem comes in when the bitch don't like you. When she don't like you, that's that's where the problem come in. And we hear all these men. I'm not paying for coffee. I'll take her to the park. Oh, you know, we can talk for hours and hours on the phone. Fuck that. I refuse to pay for a bottle of water. Come on, nigga. You know you've been going out getting finessed by bitches. Now your ass done had it with it. Y'all, that shit should never come up. That should never come up. Because the only bitches that you deal with is bitches that like you. Bitches that see you in that light that she don't, have, she don't even have a problem with you right into her home. Oh, I sit over here. We can have some. I'll cook. You bring the food. We went out a couple of times. You know, I'll cook. You bring, you know, you bring the food. I'll cook. I'll have the champagne. Or you bring the champagne. I'll cook. You ain't dealing with bitches like that. Your ass been finessing bitches and you fucking tired. You're tired. Let's be honest here. You tired. You are tired, bro. The real question, the real conversation ain't even about your money. The real conversation is about why are you going out with bitches that don't like you? That's the real question. Why are you entertaining women that don't like you? That's the question there. You sh it should already be an understanding with the women that you're dealing with. You're, you're blowing up a bitch phone. You're blowing up a, you know, you're blowing up her DMs. Fam, she don't fucking like you. That's the real question. Fuck all the dinner dates. Fuck all that other shit. You shouldn't be talking about dating until you get down who likes you. Fuck the dating shit. The dating shit ain't even in your league. You shouldn't be worrying about taking a bitch out. See... A lot of you niggas work on your bodies, work, you know, you're buying all these fancy clothes, you got good money, got a good job, but you still have not yet understood when a bitch like you. 
you don't understand that part yet. So stop dating till you understand a person that's balanced like you you should be a balanced man to know when a bitch like you but you're not you're not balanced yet you still chasing bitches you thirsty as fuck that's thirsty so you a bitch not gonna take a dinner date from you want the benny hannas come on now nigga you taking me to benny hannas why the fuck i will not accept that i'm gonna put on my best outfit look real good eat with you and be online all goddamn day on instagram and on facebook and see what's going on on youtube who's beefing on youtube i want to watch a live stream of beefing while we out and you paying for my benny hana and i'm taking pictures of myself posting that shit that's why bitches do that because you niggas don't know who fucking like you stop taking these bitches out to eat until you understand who likes you Niggas are doing live stream on dinner dates. Why the fuck you doing live stream on that? No, you need to teach men who likes them. This is how you know a bitch like you. She wants to get to know you. She don't mind paying for the drink. $10 ain't shit to me. $20 ain't shit to me. Come on now, fam. She don't mind working out with you at the gym. Hey, what you doing later? I'm, I'm about to hit the gym. We can work out together. Let's walk the track together. I'll walk the track over here. It's about five miles. Y'all work out together. That's a bitch that want to get to know you. Let's go get some ice cream. Fuck. Let's drive up the coast. I'm from Florida. We drive We drive on I-95. We, we get on I-95 and just drive that bitch. Get gas and just ride. You know? <laughs> get some chicken wing and some liquor. And just sit in the car and chill and ride up the coast. You know, you might touch on my thigh. I might lean over and touch you a little bit. That's a bitch that like you. That's a bitch that's feeling you. You might take her around your homie where you hang out at. She's sitting in the car, all pretty as fuck, just chilling. Y'all drinking, eating, whatever the fuck y'all do. But that's a bitch that like you. A lot of you niggas don't know who like you. Y'all fucking. <sighs> Damn. Join, join Patreon. Join Patreon. Join Patreon. That's all I can say. The next one. This beat is so, so.